Hey everyone, and welcome back to The Binding of Isaac. Today I feel like playing Judas. 35% extra damage, but only one health. Book of Belial's really good. And uh, he's very challenging a lot of the time. We're gonna make that work. Ideally, of course. Uh, everything's always ideally with me. Like, oh yeah, this is the best thing that can possibly happen, so ideally we'll go for that. I mean, yeah, of course. What else would it be? Why would I not do the, uh, or hope for the ideal thing? That's... That wouldn't make a lot of sense now, would it? But plus two damage is very good, and we'll see if we can do other stuff. It does increase his double room chance. It does not and cannot increase his library chance. Bomb's good to see. Tough love immediately is awesome. So hopefully luck up is a pill for us. I would love to get all teeth as Judas. And uh, that's, of course, a one over 10 minus luck. So base, it's one over 10. With one luck up, it's one over nine. Two luck up, it's one over eight, etc. And after nine, it doesn't matter anymore. So you can have ten luck ups, and it's not infinity chance, or you can have eleven, and it's not over negative. It's not a negative one chance. It's just once you have nine, you're always firing teeth. So that's pretty cool. A secret room is almost certainly more valuable than bomb for a bomb. Well, sometimes I'm not right about things. Then again, almost certainly does not mean certainly, so I guess I was still right. It just didn't turn out to actually be more valuable. Alright, so I'm willing to go down five cents, and I'm going to continue that. Until it stops giving me money. <laughs> Hopefully it gives me a key. You think you're funny, don't you? Okay, health up, right now. Just... Okay, I was going there anyway. So blowing this up lets me get to those poops and those could give me things. It's just, it's a smart play when there's a bomb there. It's pretty silly, but it is a good play nonetheless. I only got a half heart, so it wasn't useful, but it could have been. So by the way, with Tough Love, the teeth, when we do fire them, do 3.2 times our damage, which is amazing. And we're gonna get a soul heart for this fight. So, Honestly, this is a great start, and hopefully the item's a health up. I'm not as worried about damage at the moment. Uh, early game, Judas is totally set for damage, and because of that, I'm just I'm pretty confident. I feel good. Coin purse. Well, that's telepills. What is this? Health up? Nothing. That's good. And this is bad gas. Wow, pills are just not good. I guess I'll take the telepills again. Uh, what I'll do for that is take it into the curse room and then teleport out. Maybe we get the I am error room, maybe we get right back to the curse room, get trolled. Maybe we just leave and we're good. I don't know. All I know is this is the way to be. Uh, okay, so this is question marks. Bombs are key, I like that. Bad gas, I don't like it all because it's useless. And we get a damage up. And we can tell the pills again. We get the last pill. Range down is unfortunate. So that doesn't help. I don't need bombs or key. I don't want to range down again. And, uh, friends to the end. Wow, the pills are awful. Like, literally, the pills are just beyond awful. So I guess I want telepills. Because everything else is so bad. I could go back to the floor, but there's nothing for me to do there. Because I did get tough love. I'm not an idiot. There we go, and uh, Chemical Peel makes it so that every other tier we fire, every tier we fire from the left eye, does plus two damage. Yeah, alright, I'm fine with this. So that's decent, and we saw that the teeth from that eye are also bigger, of course. Because plus two and times 3.2 is a pretty real amount. Kamikaze flies are affected by the uh, damage from Chemical Peel. It's whichever two you fired most recently is the one they're going to be affected by. They're not affected by teeth, though. So I'd love to get a bomb so I could get that tinted rock as well as a bomb. We got the virus, which is a small speed down, but it allows us to do significant contact damage to enemies and uh, also damage, or, like, damage them over time after that. Oh, no. Oh, well. That could have been nice. We do have the chance for an arcade here. Strength is good. I like strength. Okay. Jute. Perfect. 
Eternal Heart's a health up if we get it to the next floor, which I most certainly will do my best to do. No reason I shouldn't. All right, we got a Pink Widow. Should be very easy to kill. Book of Belial, Chemical Peel. And, uh, wow, that was pretty bad. And uh, Tough Love, though. So the, the Devil Room was guaranteed. I'm not going to trade all my health away because I die anyway, like no matter what I do in there. Even if I use strength, I'm not going to take the Magic 8-Ball because it is merely a shot speed up, and that's not a good thing in my opinion. So I'm just going to skip the item because it's worse to have than not to. Again, opinion. So you... Great. And uh, with the strength card, I will probably be going to the curse room. There we go. Just because I can. I just have to use the strength card when I get in so that I can get out without dying. I'd say it's pretty worth it. So I'd, I'm not going to get a bomb. That's really sad. Alright. Guppy's head, one third of the way to becoming Guppy. Gives us three kamikaze flies, those do twice our damage. Which I've already said. Is there any choice I have other than taking the magic eight ball? The answer is no. Unless this teleports me to the shop. It didn't. Gave me that. Away we go without the tinted rock, sadly. But otherwise, that was an acceptable floor. So we know that the secret room is next to our spawn room, but uh, eh, I'll consider that speed up because I kind of do need one at this point due to the virus, and I believe that Judah starts at Isaac's base speed, so is where I want to be. It's a big speed up, but I mean, speed down, I'd say, is worse probably than, well, no, it, it is definitely worse than uh, a little bit more speed than one needs. Wow, what a jerk. I've already taken red hard damage on the floor, so sadly, I'm not likely to get a double room here, since there is also the 0.25 multiplier due to getting one on the last floor. And just everything not quite going my way. Okay, here we go. This should be pretty quick. Well, you think you have something on me. So we also do know that there's no luck up build, that's just not a thing. Child's Heart increases the chance of any non-specific heart drop. So that's good. I guess. Key is also pretty nice. Key is way nicer, maybe. We'll fight the boss right away, because why not? This is Catacombs 1, so we're looking at some potentially annoying bosses, but probably not a big deal. Okay, it's Peep. Which should be okay. We should be fine with that. We got the teeth. We got the damage. We, we got the strats. I think that this will be no problem. Okay. This is good. And I'm just gonna... Oh, okay. I thought I was gonna do a high jump for some reason. I don't know why. That was easy. We get Pageant Boy, which isn't at all what I wanted. Seven coins, and they all happen to be pennies this time. Full health here. Haven't been to the item room as far as I know. I can't have been, because I haven't... I definitely haven't seen it. I'm probably going to do the challenge room for uh, Roid Rage, but it's a big speed up, and uh, Virus is only a small speed down. So it's going to be quite a jarring difference. It's a huge, huge speed up. Don't need that. Okay, there's our item room. There is also what is most likely our shop. But, you know, there's that small chance that it is a library. I don't know. It's a uh, Curse of Darkness. What do you want me to do? Not using my key for it, because that's a huge waste when the item room's right here and I don't have enough money for the shop in the first place. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the item room as planned. My little unicorn is not what I wanted at all. But what I can do is use it for the challenge room, and that'll help me a lot. So, yeah, I'm... Oh, you're a little late on that one. Just a little bit, though. 
Uh, shooting the poops is honestly probably best left for the end of the room. Okay, but that's... I handled it acceptably. Come on, come on out. There you go. Two cents. Just short, but I'm going to play this. And then go to the shop, which is the shop now we know for certain. Get the habit, because I can. Something you don't really say no to. Then go to the challenge room. Spawn all the waves at once, because uh, I can, and that actually makes this item way better for it. And then we're good. We're good to go. I think it's... Yeah, we need to go down. That's what I thought. Alright, so we take this, and we pause... Everything spawns at once, and then I do this. Wow, I'm not gonna kill everyone at all. Alright, fine. I still did a pretty fair amount of the work, so I'm gonna be okay in this room, I would imagine. If I took damage, I'd be sad and surprised. So now I hope for a couple more speed downs, because I'm like 0.5 above where I started, since the virus is 0.1, I do believe, and that was. 0.6 speed up, so we're 0.5 above where we started, and that's totally not cool. So I'd, I'd hope for, like, lard, especially because it's two health up, which I really need as Judas. I'd hope for uh, fat odd mushroom doesn't stack. I'd hope for the small rock then. Yeah, those two items would be pretty good. But we made it work. So the habit makes it so that every time I get hit, I get three takes of charge for my spacebar item. So every two hits, I can use my spacebar item guaranteed, no matter what it is. Uh, that doesn't matter with the Book of Belial because it doesn't stack with itself. But maybe we'll be switching for something that's better with the habit that will stack with itself or have an effect in some way that makes it worth having uh, the habit with. It's just like, it's an item you don't pass up. There's the chance that we'd have some useful item for it. Okay, keys are nice. I like keys. Alright, then bring it. Uh, yeah, that's definitely worth a bomb, and I should be able to do... Actually, I think this is a safer bet. Okay, that's fine. It was worth checking, at least. Walked pretty close to getting hit there, but I made it. I do love these larger teeth from Chemical Peel plus Tooth. Those are good. And of course, if I can stack more damage than I already have, that would be wonderful. Alright, now let's see what's in the item room. I'll get five bombs for this, but really we're not getting very good item room since Tough Love. So that gives us five bombs, and then I don't care about it allowing me to detonate them on command instead, because that doesn't help me at all. Okay. What is in here? Okay. I was hoping more for growth hormones, even though that's also a relatively large speed up. But I guess this is good, too. This will show me the general location of all the icon rooms without showing me how exactly to get to them. And that's totally fine. That is completely all right. I like it. It's going to help me find item rooms, basically, and then bosses when it matters. All right, now I just need to deal with you. Wow. Still not red hard damage. But uh, I, I don't like that that happened. Sorry, there's something making some noise that I hope you don't hear calm down a little bit, so I guess that's good. That's probably not close enough to the wall. Okay, good, it was. Ah, oh, excellent. That's exactly what I want to see. Not quite enough money to go to the shop, but almost. So I expect that I will be going, but I also expect that it's greed. So while I'm excited, it's a 50% chance, so it's just as likely not to be greed as it is to be greed. Unless, of course, we find a mini boss, then it's a 0% chance. But uh, I'd, I'd like to just wait on that, in case maybe I can just get a uh, 
yeah, I don't need to go there immediately. Unless I take red heart damage, then I'll go there now. But I want to make sure that... Because greed could hit me. So I'd like to fight the boss first, or get hit first, so that it doesn't matter if I get hit on greed. Okay, kill you. Kill you. That's you, and then... That's you. Another key is awesome to see. Dirty shouldn't be too bad. Okay, uh, can you not be so dodge? So dodge. Wow. Alright, now we should be pretty set. For the most part. Especially if we can fire any more teeth. That would be really good. Okay, uh, don't get hit by that. That would have been pretty silly to get hit by. And we're good. We do get a double room. A range up's not what I was looking for. We need a one heart deal or we can't really do anything. I need a soul heart very badly right now. All right, Rock, save me. Ah, oh, that's really sad. Because those would kill me if I took them. So I need that to still be there in a little bit after I go to the shop, buy a soul heart, and then go to the curse room and get two soul hearts or something. Not quite. Bum friend's not what I want either. Uh, all right, we need to get a soul heart from the curse room. We need to get two soul hearts. Uh, let's see, so we only need one to stay alive. But if we get two, we can improve our odds a little bit better. No, we can't. One and two are equivalent. Yeah, one and two are equivalent. I don't need to worry about that. Okay. So this curse room needs to be pretty amazing, and that devil room still needs to be there. I haven't traded, any, traded anything to the devil, so I'm still on angel room chance. But I want to take both of those. Those aren't soul hearts. Okay, that's a soul heart. I'm doing it. If I can. If it's still there. I'm doing it. And it's going to be a really bad idea, but it's going to be a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. So we take the mark. That's one damage up. 0.2 speed up. And a soul heart. And we take the pack. So now we're at negative two health. And uh, that's damage up. Tears up and uh, two soul hearts. So negative two health is obviously not where I want to be, but it was worth it. Although now I'm really, really fast. I might in fact be maxed out on speed. Oh no, I can't afford that. That one I can certainly blame on speed though. So I don't need to go in there. What was in our item room? I'd care to know once again. I expect to die on this run. But I couldn't not do that. Ah, yes. Remote detonator. I'm certainly past the point of too fast. So we'll see if I can make this work. Alright. Next floor, ahoy. There's going to be the item room really immediately. That's totally cool with me. Don't you dare hit me. This is a bad room. Necropolis is not a nice place, especially when you have as little health as I do. This is, of course, taking Judas and making him an extreme of what he already is at the start, that being a glass cannon. Fluffy for dummies is not what I need, and that also would not benefit from the habit, but this does increase our library chance. Not that I expect that that'll be useful. Could be. In here. No, I don't need boom. I don't. That is far from something I need. It's not worth the health potentially lost. Wow, that was a lot of teeth there. I'll fight my way to the shop. It's greed, though. I already know that. Like, you can easily tell because there's no other mini boss anywhere. Nope. Oh, that was close. Alright, um, those can't hit me. 
Now both of you do that. Ah, that was a little bit stressful. So there's no point in going into the shop. Ah, this room's gonna kill me too. Necropolis is not a nice place, like I said. Soul heart. No, that's not a soul heart. Greed wouldn't benefit me. I need to open this chest. <sighs> Blow this up for a heart. I almost killed myself on it. Not a soul heart. I'm willing to do this. I'm going to play this as much as I have to to hopefully get a soul heart. It's not likely. It, it's incredibly unlikely, in fact. But I could... Okay, wait. This is good. Change, please. Arr, you never change for me. I need you to turn into a fortune teller. Like, now more than ever. Because then you're at least a lot more likely to give me the soul heart I require. Uh, that is bad gas. Can I get rid of that? Can you please? Okay. Giving you another chance. This is absurd how this never happens. Like, I know it's possible and I'm beginning to just not believe that it's possible because it's just never going to happen for me. Ever. Alright, one thing I can do while I still have some money is check if this is the secret room. It's not. Because that could have uh, had a fortune teller in it itself. Alright, that's uh, fine. I expected that to be a black fly that I would then lose to my flies here. Uh, I didn't think it would give me anything. But I really needed it to. No! Okay, two more chances. This isn't going to work out for me. Oh my god. Stop trolling me. Why you troll me so? You are such a troll. Oh my god, stop this. Give me what I need or stop giving me things. Okay. Okay, this room's doable. Just got to hope a little bit. Being this fast does not help me in a lot of ways. Okay, this is really scary. I definitely need to open that chest. That pair of chests. Okay. I mean, that's good, it's just not what I need. If I can win this run, I this may be the most impressive win. I don't know. I've pulled off worse. I, I probably have pulled off worse. At least I've got all the stats and things this time. Well, the damage and speed. I have too much of that. Okay, I don't really want to have to deal with these. These can cripple my health back to where I was previously scared. But they didn't. Book of Belial isn't hugely important to use most of the time right now. Okay, that's fine. You just attack me all you like. Don't you attack me all you like, though. That was not an open invitation. The Fallen, alright. I should be able to do enough damage to the Fallen to not have to worry uh, very much. We're going to get a Devil Room item from this. Which needs to be nine lives. Dead cat. Spirit of the Night works too, that's a uh, flight and spectral tier, so I can shoot through rocks and obstacles now. This was a gamble that I'm hoping pays off. It does indeed, we profit a half soul heart for this. And I have nothing left to do here. Ten bombs doesn't appeal to me, I guess I should go to the secret room, maybe there's something in there I care about. Enough money to go to the next shop maybe. That'd be good. Exactly what I asked for. 
So now I can go to the next shop without worry. I'm hoping that it's got the treasure map in it and a soul heart, and then that would be pretty much optimal. I'm sad that I didn't get the dead cat there, uh, because that would have brought me back to one red heart, and it would have made it so that I was two-thirds of the way to Guppy. With, um, you know, red chest still giving me the chance to get uh, Guppy items and two potential devil rooms available to me. But it didn't happen, so whatever I want doesn't matter here. At the same time, we're in a lot better shape already. Free Flight and Spectral Tears is really good. And, uh, hey, First Orbital is good too, because I haven't gotten a cube of meat yet, which is kind of a miracle and a half, in a bad way. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, I'm just going to cheese this room. And Guardian Angel. The Orbital does 7 damage on contact to things. Okay, that's not what I want. It's also not what I want. That's okay. So yeah, 7 contact damage and 1.5 times all of the things orbital velocity. Okay, so I'm going to go to the shop. Ideally, at least. Then I'm going to go to the boss challenge room. And if that's a health up, that's still fine because I, well, I'm still going to have the polar invincibility from having only soul hearts. I'll just be at negative 1 health instead of negative 2. It's something. I can certainly work with it. Meat would be good too, because it's a. Uh, oh, I can't. I can't do that. Treasure map, exactly what I wanted. No soul heart, so I'll just buy the key, because I need that. And treasure map shows us the layout of the floor, as well as the location of the secret room. It doesn't show us what the rooms are. And that's the compass. So now we just have the full map for the floor besides the top secret room. Cool with me. Raw liver. Not quite. Not quite raw liver. So I, I, I would really love to be able to play that demon beggar somehow, but I just can't. There's no way I can make that work. No, 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 no. That is not worth my time. I'm already at max speed, probably. If not, I'm just below it. So it's, it's just a pointless waste of time to go in there and fight two bosses for an item that's practically worthless to me. Okay, this is okay. I can dig that. Not going to be hard to kill them, because I hit with teeth twice and then they were all dead. I need like a fortune teller. Just wanted to see what this was. Okay. I would like a fortune teller in uh, that arcade, which I will certainly spend time in if there is a fortune teller because that's a pretty big deal, potentially. Oop, oop, oh, I almost made it. Gotta be very careful if I want to continue having a chance on this run. But every soul heart helps. Makes my life workable. Livable. Possible. All right, that's cool too. I do need keys and things. That's not a fortune teller going to play this, not the skull game. Going to blow that up. Going to leave and re-enter. Finally, we, f we finally get the switch. Just in time to prove that it is possible. Two of spades doubles my keys. Uh, I'm just going to use that immediately, I guess. The sun is very good, and the world's useless now since I have the map and compass. So the sun, 100 damage to each enemy in the room, and a thousand red hearts of recovery, as well as the full map. The full maps, again, worthless because we have that. I don't have any teleports. If I get those, yeah. Okay, that's a teleport. Good shape. So we take this to the fight, and then we see if we get a double room. Um, to increase that chance, I guess I'm actually going to blow up the demon beggar here. Which is just going to give me spiders. It's not like that's a thing. It's just that blowing it up increases my double room chance for the floor. Which I'm going to go all in on. And then I need it to be a uh, dead cat and another guppy item, pretty much. Preferably guppy's paw. 
So that's the goal. That is what we're after. Can we do it? Who knows? Who really knows? Okay, so sadly we got this fight, which isn't what I wanted. The blue one, that is. The blue one's uh, not the good times. Okay, so they're gonna come after me now. Fine. Gotta do this carefully. Because Wrath of the Lamb enemies are no fun. Glad that didn't hit me. Let's let that hit me. Keepers, you're not invited. Okay, we're almost there. We made it. I take the Polaroid, but I leave the health and the soul hearts for now because those could be a huge benefit if we do get a devil room. And then we go on back and see if anything works. Okay. Neither of those are the thing I need. So that's pretty sad. Blow up the rock. Not a tinted rock. So we'll grab us, our soul heart, we'll grab our health up. We're at negative one health now. And we're just out of here. Okay, so we know exactly where we're going. Uh, I'm just gonna blow this dude up. Get that devil room chance, because that is only for the floor. It does not last, as previously believed by at least myself, and probably a bunch of other people, because I did. But I don't think I started that. Ankh revives me as blue baby should I die. I'm not into respawn items, unless they're the dead cat helping me become guppy. So I'm not going to take that. We're not going to take it anymore. Alright, uh, I can dig this room because it's not going to be very difficult with flight and spectral tears. There is just a very sharp pain inside of my head. Uh, that was weird. I'm okay. Back to normal now, but I'll just worry myself a little bit. So when I am invincible from the Polaroid, which is every time I get hit at the moment, uh, I can run into enemies because I have the virus. So I can do lots of damage for free. Ish. Free ish. No reason to save two of diamonds. We're going to get a first cube of meat here, and that's okay. I could have preferred other things, but... I mean, all I really want is soul hearts, and it's not actually as big about health ups or damage ups, because I have a lot of damage and a lot of health. Or not health, a lot of um, damage and don't need anything but soul heart, so squeezy would have been nice, I guess, would be one way of doing things. Okay. I'm gonna take this the easy way instead of doing the risky way that I prefer doing normally, because I don't have health to spare. That is, like, definitely the truth. Oh my god. I don't want to talk about it. That should just not have happened. So this is not a short path, sadly. Wanted to blow up some rocks, of course, to see if they could uh, be tinted rocks, because no way of knowing. We do have two orbitals now, which is nice. The cube of meat also does seven contact damage, and they, of course, blow both block tiers. So that's, I mean, that's going to be a big help. I don't have the health I need. That's just a freaking range down. I don't want that at all. I do want this to be a fortune teller. Ugh, come on. Wanna do that instead? There we go. That's what I was hoping for, and then that's... Oh, this is good. Friends till the end is something, certainly. Enough money to keep playing this. Of course, trying to ultimately change it into a fortune teller. I'm not going to use friends till the end until I'm done here because I don't want the flies to kill the fly if the fly spawns. Also, I'd love to get a pretty fly. If not a normal fly. So that's, uh, that's welcome as an addition to the team. Get the max orbitals to do things for me. I'd appreciate it. But I'd also appreciate 
more stuff. What is this? This is bad gas. I'm just going to get rid of that. So it doesn't clutter my workspace. No. Wish I had the wafer right now. That'd sure make me confident. That'd be overpowered, though. It is overpowered as an item. But that's kind of the point. Okay. I'm totally cool with that, actually. I do need to get this back, though. I'm totally cool with that. So now we have three orbitals, all of them block tiers. The fly only damages fly type enemies, the other two damage any enemy. We're not doing badly. Okay. Let's kill you with teeth. Now let's fight this boss. See how that goes. Okay, I'm super duper fast, so I'm not worried about getting hit by these things. Not that it's impossible by any means. Use this. Get that damage in there. Repeated bombs. Wonderful. So we're going to kill this pretty easily. We're going to go to the cathedral. It didn't even shoot any bombs, which is really strange, but acceptable. Got a devil room that I don't need. I'm not going to Shoal. It's not hard enough. But I am shooting the fire, and I am blowing up the rock. Let's go. Let's do it. All right, let's do this. A uh, library doesn't matter to me at all. Now, there's something to be said for going to the curse room. Chance of a teleport, something like that. Uh, I didn't take my sun card back the other day, the other level, but that's not actually important. The health isn't important, the 100 damage can only be so much, it's not actually that big a thing. High Priestess would be useful to have, but not mandatory. I forgot them, yeah. That's absolutely true and inarguable. It's not like, oh, I didn't take them because I think that that'd be a silly thing to do for some reason. No, I just forgot them, but it's actually not a big deal. I wouldn't have forgotten the sun card if I were rolling on, like, a number of red hearts, but I have none. I don't need the full map and the 100 damage. I mean, yeah, but it's like literally a 20th or so of, uh, I think it's exactly a 20th of Isaac's and Blue Baby's health. I was getting some lag there, and I think that actually did cause me to get hit. Pretty unfortunate. But that's okay. Uh, there's an alert going on, so something is happening. I'm sorry about all that vibrating. I <laughs> can't stop it at the moment. Now it stops when I'm about to be able to. I do actually want to check that. Oh, okay. That is not that. It's not like a weather alert or something. So I'm not... Uh, it's alright. Don't... Don't do this. Why do I have to fight this room? Why couldn't they have at least been blue so I could get a soul heart for this? Uh, oh, that's garbage. I could not afford that. I think that now I lose. Okay, we've got a chance. Okay. Nope, 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 nope. We've got a lot of damage. We've got a lot of protection. We've got a lot of speed. If this is doable at low health, it's doable right now. Teeth, uh, getting lucky with teeth would be nice. More consistently, at least. Just counting on my orbitals here. No. Okay, that's phase three. I need to move away from that. Teeth, 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 teeth. Okay, get away from all the angelic babies. Oh, that spawned in. Wait, I didn't get hit. That's all that matters. Isaac died. Isaac died. Alright. I just did that without getting hit. We are in business. That's shortcuttable, and I have just enough money for it. Or not money. I have just enough bombs for it. Alright. Let's get poop and do it. So I just got chocolate milk, which is a significant fire rate. Increase 20%, and then... I can charge my tears to do more damage. 
And I can indeed bomb through here. And I'm going to get a charge perfectly before the boss for my spacebar item, which is good. Unless, of course, this uh, doesn't end up... Oh, this is not good. It doesn't end up uh, being a fighting room in the next room, which would be pretty annoying. Double or triple Loki, not a fan at the moment. Oh, that was scary. Okay, one Loki dead. I do have to tap every time I want to fire, when I'm firing quickly. Okay, single Loki now. That's doable. Okay, die. Now you die, it's your turn. It is your turn, there you go. Eternal Heart is literally worthless. Uh, I want to kill Gluttony last, because he can give me soul hearts. The health up wouldn't matter. There you go, thank you for killing Greed as I intended you to, that was my master plan. And the uh, heart doesn't matter, I don't think. But just in case it did, I didn't want to use it. Alright, so let's just do this. If I get hit, I run in there, I do some poison damage with the virus. Ideally, I just don't get hit again. But, you know, if I do, it's it's workable. Orbitals are doing work against uh, the flies, which is what they're expected to do. Okay, there we go. Got a couple bombs in there, got a good amount of poison going. Ooh, almost walked into that. That would have been bad. All right, we managed that run. That run was pretty miraculous, I want to say that. That was uh, definitely an impressive victory, without a doubt. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. That was, that was a ton of fun. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.